Hey there guys, Chris here, and in this video we will be discussing Routine, a productivity tool designed to help you manage your tasks and notes more efficiently. In this tutorial I'll show you how to start using the platform, I'll cover setting up your account, and how to move around the interface. Then I'll talk about what Routine.co can do, focusing on its main tools and features. Finally, we'll walk you through how to create notes in Routine.co, and by the end of this video you'll have a comprehensive understanding of Routine and how to use it to boost your productivity and stay organized. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started. So to get started with Routine, head over to their website and you'll find four options on the homepage. Calendar, Projects, Knowledge, and Collaboration. Select Projects and click on the Get Started button to begin registering your account. Next, you'll be asked to choose a calendar. Routine.com offers integration with four types of calendars. Google Calendar, Microsoft Outlook, Apple iCloud Calendar, and other. For this tutorial, we'll choose Google Calendar, but feel free to select the calendar that suits your needs. After choosing your calendar, you'll be taken back to the Download Routine page. You can download the app for Mac OS, Windows, or iOS, but for this tutorial, we'll proceed with the Web option. Click on the Launch button under Web, and you'll be directed to another page to continue the account for creation process. Follow the on-screen prompts to sign up with one of the three options, Google, Microsoft, or Apple ID. Since we chose Google Calendar earlier, we'll sign up with Google. Once you've created your account, personalize it by following the prompts. After personalizing your account, you'll be taken to your account dashboard where you can start exploring and utilizing Routine's features. The dashboard of Routine is designed with a clean and minimalistic approach, making it easier to navigate and use. On the left side, you'll find the main tabs that make up the left menu. Each of these tabs serves a specific purpose and we'll explore them more in detail. The first tab is the inbox, which serves as a default location for new notes or tasks that haven't been assigned to a specific date or project. This is where you'll find incoming items or tasks that need to be processed or sorted. Think of it as your digital mailbox, where all your new and unsorted tasks and notes land until you decide what to do with them. Next is the agenda tab, which displays your scheduled tasks and events for the current day or a brief overview of upcoming days. This section gives you a quick glance at what's on your plate for the day, helping you prioritize your tasks and stay on track. The Calendar tab opens up a calendar view where you can see tasks and events laid out over a monthly calendar. This is useful for long-term planning and getting an overview of how you're allocating your time. You can visualize your tasks and events spread out over the month, making it easier to plan and schedule new tasks. The Tasks tab is where you can manage your to-do list. This section is divided into unplanned, recurrences, and upcoming tasks, allowing you to organize and prioritize your tasks more effectively. Unplanned tasks are those spontaneous or unexpected tasks that arise without prior planning. These could range from sudden work assignments to last-minute personal errands. This category allows you to add and track these tasks, ensuring they don't fall through the cracks. Recurrences refer to tasks that occur on a regular basis. Whether it's a weekly report, a monthly meeting, or daily exercises, the section helps you to manage those repetitive tasks that need to be completed at regular intervals. By setting up recurrences, you can automate reminders and keep a steady rhythm of your workflow or personal life, ensuring consistency and reliability in your routine. Upcoming tasks are those that you've planned for the near future. This could include projects with deadlines, scheduled appointments, or any events that require preparation. By organizing your tasks under this category, you can prioritize your workload, allocate your time effectively, and prepare in advance for what's ahead. Together, these categories within the Task tab allow you to organize and prioritize your tasks effectively, providing a comprehensive view of your to-do list that helps you stay focused and productive. The Notes tab is a section for note-taking, where you can jot down ideas, meeting notes, or any other text-based information that you want to keep track of. This is a great place to store any random thoughts or ideas that come to you throughout the day. The search function, represented by a magnifying glass icon, allows you to search across all your tasks, notes and events, and other data within the app. This is useful when you need to find a specific task or a note quickly. The settings tab, represented by a gear icon, is where you can adjust your account settings, calendars, app preferences, integrations with other services, and more. This is where you can customize the app to fit your specific needs and preferences. Finally, the Help tab, represented by a question mark icon, 
opens up a menu where you can manage upgrades, see what's new, get help and support, submit feedback, and a lot more. This is a great resource if you need assistance or want to learn more about the app's features and functionalities. Now that you're familiar with the routine interface features and functionalities, let's dive into how to create notes. To start, click on the Notes tab in the left menu, which will take you to a dedicated notes section. From here, click on the plus icon next to Notes and create a new note. You'll see an untitled note appear, which you can rename to make it more specific. The main canvas is divided into different sections. The top section shows the title of the note, which defaults to untitled until you change it. Below this, you'll find a list of templates or categories for notes, each with a distinctive icon. These include templates for goals, groceries, journal entries, packing lists, travel destinations, and watch lists. You can choose one of the templates or start your own from scratch. To start your own note, simply begin by typing under the title and the templates will disappear, giving you a blank slate to take personalized notes. If you click the backslash key, a menu will appear with options to format your note as a to-do list, a bullet list, ordered list, heading, quote, divider, or embed. This allows you to customize your note to suit your needs. With these options, you can create your own notes in routine, whether it's to jot down a quick idea, plan a trip, or keep track of your own goals. The flexibility of the notes section makes it easy to adapt your workflow and stay organized. When it comes to pricing, Routine offers four plans to cater to the needs of diverse users. The free plan is available at no cost forever and includes a range of features such as calendars, tasks, contacts, and notes, as well as time blocking and natural language processing. Additionally, it offers integrations with popular apps like Notion and Zapier, device synchronization, and is accessible on multiple platforms including web, Mac OS, Windows, iOS, and soon Android. The professional plan is priced at $12 per month, and it includes all of the features from the free plan, plus additional features such as offline access, undo functionality, contextual capture, uh, filtered views, connections, automations, availability sharing, smart planning, and 30-day versioning. It also offers advanced integrations with apps like Zoom, ClickUp, and Asana, as well as priority support. The business plan is priced at $15 per user per month and can be canceled at any time. It includes all of the features from the professional plan, plus additional features as workspaces, custom domains, access control, real-time editing, comments, and 90-day versioning. The enterprise plan includes all of the features from the business plan, plus unlimited versioning, advanced access control, user providing, dedicated support, and a success manager. Pricing for this plan is customized and you can reach out to our sales team for detailed pricing information. All right, that's it for this tutorial on how to use routine.co. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to comment below. I will do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thank you for watching and take care.